Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I last actually made any videos, but with that being said, I am actually getting a little bit more into Digimon. So Digimon has been a card game that I've been a little bit more invested into rather than Pokemon, simply for the fact that with Pokemon, I've kind of been slowing down on it just because I don't really have as many people to play against. Uh, most of my mates all actually play uh, or at least they're getting more into Digimon as opposed to Pokemon and I think that's one of the realities with Pokemon is that uh, the Pokemon trading card game is more of a collector's game. It's just something that most people would rather collect the cards of and would prefer not to actually uh, build decks and play. So it's a bit unfortunate there because I do actually play Pokemon itself as well. But I just find that the community being so much more smaller, um, despite its popularity as a card game itself or as a trading card game itself, um, yeah, it's just really surprising to find that it's such a small community because most people would prefer to actually collect the cards rather than play. Uh, on the other hand, with Digimon, despite it being a new game that's pretty much just two or three years old, it's surprisingly so much more popular than Pokemon, at least in terms of the player base. So with that being said, there's always someone to actually play Digimon against. And with that being said, I have here a deck profile to present to you guys. I believe this will be my first deck profile, so it's definitely going to be really fun. Now, this is not necessarily a competitive deck profile. This is more so something I built purely for fun. I will eventually be putting out deck profiles that are a bit more competitive, uh, but that'll be coming soon. For now, this was a deck that was really easy to build, really cheap, and it was just something that I've always wanted to build because it was actually in the first episode of the anime, or at least the reboot version. So Digimon Adventures, I believe is what they're calling the new reboot, but I don't really know. Um, I just watched the first episode and uh, you guys could already see, this is Argomon. So this was actually featured in the first episode. Uh, just a really cool and interesting villain uh, that came out because the interesting thing about Argomon was that um, or at least this particular line is that despite it having like level twos, threes, fours, fives to sixes, it's all called Argomon, which is really interesting. So you, you'll get to it in a sec, but um, yeah, it's just making this whole thing uh, just a really cool lineup of things here. And uh, yeah, just seeing it in the show itself uh, is something that I just wanted to build. So without further ado, let's just get started. So to begin with our DG eggs, we're going to be playing here four copies of our Argomon and we're playing the one copy of the Freemon. Uh, the Freemon is just an additional add-on that I felt was a bit more appropriate for this particular deck but Argomon here being our main card to actually play. Essentially if it becomes unsuspended uh, you can gain one memory which is definitely very nice because this whole deck is definitely going to be a really aggro deck. It's really rushful because it brings itself out really quickly. Uh, so you will most likely getting into level sixes uh, really early on into the game while your opponent might potentially still be stuck on like level threes or fours. Uh, so with that being said, this is pretty much our lineup and it just works out incredibly well. You'll start to understand the synergy as to why this inherited effect is why it is. Now, moving on to level 3s, we're going to be playing 3 copies here of our Argomon. It's just a really nice card, it's zero cost, it comes out really easily here, it's just a vanilla but that doesn't really matter. Uh, what's important is the fact that it's a really cheap cost. It's also a play cost of 2, so you can just whip it out and it really won't affect you whatsoever. Um, the whole goal here is to whip out as many of your Digimon onto the board as quickly as possible, as much as possible. So. To have a, a play cost of two, definitely well worth it. Uh, but we are also playing here two copies of Wormmon. Essentially on deletion, you could reveal three cards from your deck and then you could add one level four or five Digimon card from among them to the hand and place the remaining on the bottom of your deck in any order. It's a really nice card because uh, it essentially allows you to just whip this card out and go for your attack, right, at your opponent's security. And, you know, assuming they don't block it, it's most likely going to die to your opponent's security Pokemon or Digimon, sorry, unless they get like some sort of uh, option card or tamer card. But uh, with that being said, you're kind of counting on the whole deletion from that and it's well worth it and kind of again shows you how aggro this particular deck actually is. But with that being said, two copies is more than enough for this particular deck. 
We're also going to be playing here two copies of Terriamon Assistant, Digiburst. Uh, reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's green, then uh, you get to add it to your hand. So definitely really amazing. It has to be a green Digimon though, but uh, that's okay because every Digimon you're playing in this deck is green. So yeah, really nice there. But we're only playing two copies because it is a Digiburst effect. So it's not something that's ideal and it doesn't really synergize too well with the Argomon because you do want this inherited ability to maximize on the uh, memory gain. But uh, either way, Terrymon is amazing to kind of like uh, add more resources to your hand. But with that being said, we have four copies here of our Tentomon. A really amazing card because on play, you could essentially just reveal the top card of your deck and you can add that green Digimon. Digimon card right away because this whole deck is all green Digimon. So uh, it's just something that I consider to be a staple in any green deck. So with that being said, uh, for Tentomon is uh, the way to go here. But this is essentially it for our level three lineup. Yes, I know it looks pretty small at just 12 cards, but uh, it's kind of well worth it. It works incredibly well. So moving on to level 4s, you can see here we have our 4 copies of Argomon level 4. Now I think this is where it starts becoming very important because its effect is essentially Digisorption 2. So the way Digisorption works is you can suspend one of your Digimon and you can reduce the cost, the Digivolution cost that is, of this particular Digimon by that amount that it says. So in this case it's Digisorption 2. There are some Digimon out there that can actually have Digi's Option 3 or even Digi's Option 4, which is pretty amazing. Uh, but with that being said, for this to actually just uh, spend your own Pokemon, uh, your own Digimon to then evolve into this is definitely really amazing. And you can kind of understand now why it works so well with the uh, level 2 Argomon, where if it unsuspends, you're essentially just gaining one memory. Most of your Digimon are going to be suspended, so to have the level 2 Argomon is definitely really crucial, allowing you to gain so much more memory, and you can kind of get the idea that if you're doing Digi's Option 2, you essentially get to Digivolve into this for free, because its Digivolution cost is 2, so with Digi's Option, it's amazing. I mean, you're just generating so much more big beat sticks out onto the board as soon as possible, and your opponent can't really do anything about it. It's like on your first turn, you could potentially go into a level 6 and then on your following turn, your opponent won't be able to keep up because your level 6s will just be pretty much attacking their security with no issue whatsoever. Aside from that, we are playing 4 copies of Kiwimon. Uh, just on play, you can add any Digisorption cards from the deck that you revealed. So you reveal three cards, and if all three cards happen to be Digi's option cards, you can add all three of them to your hand. Otherwise, you put it in the bottom of your deck. That's amazing because there have been times where I've actually uh, revealed three Digi's option cards before, and yes, I've added three cards directly to my hand uh, just from Kiwi Mon. Absolutely amazing and definitely well worth it. Finally, we're playing two copies of Carbaterimon, just a nice blocker. Blockers are starting to become more popular again in this particular format. Uh, of course, we do have to kind of see how things go, but I decided to just go for the blockers because it's a really easy cost to go into. I mean, it's one Digivolution cost. So with that being said, it's just something that was well worth adding into the deck. Moving on to level 5s, we are playing 4 copies of our level 5 Argomon. So this is Digi's Option 3, so its Digivolution cost is 3, so with Digi's Option 3, you could essentially go into it again for free. Uh, this also has an inherited effect, when attacking you can play a level 3 green Digimon from your hand, suspended without paying its memory cost, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so just generating more monsters onto your board. And this is just playing to your advantage. You can see the aggro rush to it. Um, it's just really cheap, allowing you to bring out so many cards. And of course, that's why when you're just uh, drawing into so many cards, you're easily able to play out all of them uh, real quick. We're also playing here four copies of Blossomon. Digi's Option 3, again, there's really not much else to say about it. It just evolves really easily. And we're finally playing the one Orochimon. It's just giving one of your Digimon piercing, which uh, sometimes is quite crucial. Uh, you just want to get to your opponent's security as quick as possible. Alright, so on to level 6s. Now this is going to be really interesting. We're playing three copies here of our level 6 Argomon. This is uh, Digi's option 2. So 
it is still going to cost us at least two, but to pay two memory cost just to go into level six is pretty amazing. So yeah, Digi's option two, definitely well worth it. However, when you do Digivolve, you get to suspend all of your opponent's tamers, and then on all turns, your opponent's tamers will never get to unsuspend again, which is definitely really amazing, as long as he remains on the board, of course, but that's well worth it because uh, tamers are definitely quite a frightening thing right now. So to have that is definitely appropriate. But we're also playing here the other copy of the Argomon level six, which is definitely amazing. This one is Digi's option three, so it does have a Digivolution cost of five, but it does reduce it down to two, which is still amazing. Now for this one, during your turn, for each of your other suspended Digimon, this gets an additional security attack. So if you have like four or five Digimon on the board and like this one here, and you have the other four like all suspended, that's getting an additional four security attacks. So in one turn, you could essentially just deal four damage onto your opponent. Absolutely scary, absolutely frightening. And mind you, this is a level six. So it's gonna be really hard for your opponent to be winning against you in any kind of security battle unless they get extremely lucky. All right, so moving on to Tamers, we're playing two copies of Izzy, just really amazing here. If your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, they definitely will because they're trying to catch up to you. Uh, you'll be gaining one memory out of this, so really nice here. Playing two copies of Ken, uh, just always allowing you to stay at memory three, which is going to be quite important. And uh, yeah, if you also happen to be winning battles, you get to also suspend this and gain an additional memory on top of that. Really amazing. Uh, and finally, we're playing here two copies of uh, Izzy and Mimi. Fantastic Tamer. Uh, you can pretty much gain two more memory if your opponent has any suspended Pokemon or Digimon, which is obviously going to be crucial there. Uh, so you're likely going to have five memory every single turn if you, as long as you get Ken and Izzy and, his, and Mimi out on the board. So definitely really amazing there. On to option cards. We're playing the four copies of Royal Nuts and we're playing two copies of Green Memory Boost. So Royal Nuts, you could essentially just add your Digi's option cards to your hand really easily there. Uh, definitely fantastic because it's just one cost. So it doesn't really matter. And Green Memory Boost, because you have so much memory to expend, the Green Memory Boost just does so well for you, allowing you to essentially just uh, add more green cards to your hand but then also get additional memory later on uh, definitely well worth it so really amazing there but that's all the option cards i am actually playing for this particular deck and with that being said that pretty much sums up my actual deck itself this is definitely an incredibly fun deck it is purely aggro and it's all just focused on bringing out your level sixes as soon as possible uh, yeah, this is just a really amazing deck. Kind of also uh, fits the theme of this particular Digimon itself, if you actually have seen the actual anime itself. Uh, so yeah, definitely something really fun here. Definitely have never seen anyone actually build this before. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys actually have fun with this particular build. But with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.